skate builders and raptor riders and also anyone who has a raptor 2 order and is still waiting on their board i'm not forgetting about you guys today has been pretty productive in the office um jason's been having a meeting with um our engineers charles and and jeffrey so what have you been testing, Charles? I sort of haven't... Uh, basically, what, what I'm trying to find out is if there's any uh, hardware changes to be made. Yeah. I think that's what's most important right now, is that we get the, the hardware bang on. And I don't know uh, if you guys watched the previous video that we just put out uh, not too long ago with Jeff talking about some of the robotic stuff that he's working on and the Foxbox Unity. What the hell is that, man? Uh, that's like a second generation robot. It's called Superball. It's designed, it's like concept designed for a planetary lander robot. He's actually coming to Australia next week, so we're going to try and shoot a video um, about the new Foxbox Unity with Jeff. And we'll, we'll, you know, try and make it look nice. It's going to be kind of like a marketing thing. I mean, it'd be nice to sort of officially start talking about it this month. I, I physically, if I'm going to do videos, I need one in my hand, ideally with the case. So if you're going to be coming to Australia next week, you could just bring one with a 3D printed case or I don't know. Um, yeah. Obviously, you'll be in Australia, so I can talk to you and we can go over a lot of that shit. Yeah, I think that could be a But it'd be nice to take... That's really noisy, Joe. <laughs> and they were talking today about heaps of different stuff about the fuck box, like... I don't know how much luggage you're going to be carting around with you to Australia, but if you bring some of them with you to Australia, you know, we've got boards here that we can plug it into. We can film the whole thing here and make an actual production out of it. That might be a really good idea, actually. The price of it, um... I nearly think these days people are like, DIY is actually becoming nearly the premium option where before... It used to be, oh, I haven't got much money, I'm going to build my own. Now it's sort of like, I've got heaps of money, I'm going to build my own, and the people that want the cheap stuff buy a Meepo. I think, look, I think the smart move is to build the best goddamn thing you can and work out how to price it so it's affordable. Some of the features, like the... The thermal management on this thing is insane. What's, the, what's like a safe um, maximum current output for the motor controller so that it doesn't overheat? I mean, the, what's what am I saying that the fog box does? Let me check. So peak current limit, I've got written 120 amps. That's oh, firmware yeah. limited. So And then 60 amp yeah. continuous current. And I think... They're thinking about around 80 amps. I don't know too much about the tech specs, but I think that's definitely more than the original Fox box. I think the original's 60 amps. So, yeah. It's got to be affordable. That's the key. It's got to be... People do the sums in their head and they go, do I buy a Raptor 2? Because it's a high-performance machine and get all this stuff. Or do I buy motors and motor you know they do these sums and whatever comes out lowest they yeah. buy that you know yeah, it's... I, mean, I literally did that i literally did that when i bought the raptor too <laughs> hey man yeah <laughs> hello i think the new videos look fantastic i really like them hey guys you're working <laughs> all right good job thanks right, bye it would be super nice to be able to get a board um, up and running with the new Foxbox Unity because Jeff's going to be bringing some of the prototype when he comes next week. So yesterday we opened up uh, a new deck design that we got from the deck factory. So it's like a new sample. But yeah, I think um, eventually that's what we'll have, you know.
probably a deck like this without a kick. Maybe like super premium wrapped in carbon fiber. And then sort of like this one. Or actually like this one, which we really should open. It's a little bit shorter. Uh, the wheelbase is still the same as the Raptor 2. Everything's pretty similar. We just kind of like shortened the, um, the kick tail on it. I've got another design as well that I'm gonna get the sample done for now because our deck factory has made, they've got a bit of free time basically. So they've made enough Raptor 2 decks to keep production going. So it's time to do samples. So we might get all the components of a Raptor 2 pop it in on the new deck, pop in the new battery that we got a couple of weeks ago, adjust some settings and put in the new Foxbox Unity and we'll see how that runs. I mean, the boys even mentioned stuff about potential Raptor 3 ideas, which is pretty exciting, but I think that's for, you know, very long-term um, goals. <laughs> Anyways, gonna go get some burritos now. See you soon.